Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanalee Zadun. I remain your host, Shadow Fury 333, and we're gonna have a match between Kshatra and Flipstep on Baron. And Kshatra and Flipstep have actually been playing a lot recently. There were a few matches I did last week of them. And Flipstep has actually gone for the same commander that they did last time where they went for their crazy little gumdrop strategy, which they might do again. I don't know, but yeah, it looks like it. Gunship plant, probably gonna go to Vindicator. Probably gonna try that again on Baron. It's an odd strategy to go for because of the corner start. It's pretty defensible. But we'll see. It's also kind of small. Oh, never mind. No, no. Blastwing start. All right. That makes more sense. Flipstep going for the Blastwings. Oh, right. This is what they did last time on Zed. It was Blastwing and then they did the Calm Drop afterwards because they were not sure what to do and the Blastwings didn't work. But the Blastwings have been spotted out. Chatra well aware of this now and they don't have much to deal with this. Now they have a bit. They do have the Defender, which... Sh oh, that almost bought them enough time. Unfortunately, that one Blastwing did hit the Defender, but now at this point, Flipstep looks like they're not going to have an easy way of getting in. Unless they come in all at once with the Blastwings. And that's the problem with the Blastwings, is they got to come in all at once or not at all. Just too easy for them to be knocked out otherwise, and... Well, at least Flipstep's commander's there to keep it alive, but yeah, they need to bunch up and then come in all at once. That would work. I mean, this is sort of working now. And actually, this is a great time. This is perfect timing. Flipstep trying to take some advantage of, but not enough. And the defender now back up. That defender can be hit, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. The defender's down, which means Flipstep does have an opening. Continuing to build up those blast wings, though. Oh, no. Give him for a gnat instead. That sucks, because that's... That would look the timing for the for the defender right now, but now it's done. It's over. Yeah, between the gremlin and the defender, this should be relatively solid. But with enough blast wings, it should it would be able to go through. Each one being fifty five metal, though that's that's a lot of money for Flips to be pouring into this, and they've stopped. They've stopped the assault, and Kshatriya now not that optimized for anti-air, which means they can pretty easily switch back. Although, why did they take the plus one first? I have no idea. F4 of you, big deal. Always, always, always use that. Yeah, they should have taken the plus 1.8 first, but otherwise, they're in a pretty decent position. They haven't optimized for anti-air. They have enough anti-air that they can deal with blast wings if they come in. But they don't have to worry about them too much, and they don't have to worry... Although, they do have to worry about a Vindicator coming in for a Calm Drop, but they aren't super optimized for anti-air, which is good. The thing with gunships, if you're not careful, or rather, one of the ideas of gunships is to condition your opponent into building a bunch of anti-air. Actually, it's not so much conditioning, but you get your opponent to build a bunch of anti-air, and when they have a bunch of anti-air, then you come in with a bunch of ground units, and they can't do anything about that. Kshatra has not fallen for that. They have one gremlin and two defenders. The defenders are flex, so they can deal with ground no problem. And one gremlin isn't a huge deal. That's like two glaives that aren't built. No, three glaives, never mind. It's not great, but it worked. This is weird, so cost analysis is both extremely relevant and difficult. And Flipstep, remembering that putting in a cheese does destroy your economy, which means they are having a bit of a hard time here. That last little calm drop, and I... I don't know. That Zeus will take a little while to come out, but by the time it comes... That's, like, that'll come out before the commander gets in here, which means Kshatriya's in a relatively solid position. They just have to deal with one commander coming in, having their own commander and a Zeus, their commander unmorphed right now. As long as they avoid losing the game, basically, because... If this commander dies, Flipstip's dead. <laughs> that should be fine. That should work out okay. And Kshatra already kind of knew this was coming. Had the Zeus set up, which is going to be a major problem. Now, is this at level 1? It is at level 1. So Flipstip... Actually going to be able to deal with a fair amount of damage. If they get to the factory and destroy the factory, that's going to be a fairly big deal. But even in that Zeus... Like, this is a tough... Tough call, that Zeus is a problem, that Warrior is a problem, both of them are problems, and the commander's down, Flipstep loses the game, because they didn't pick quite the right units. And not just they didn't pick the right units, Kshatra saw that coming. They already kind of knew 
there was something coming. And they prepared for it. The Zeus Warrior was a good combination. Stun it out. The Warrior deals all the damage, and the Zeus stops the commander from doing anything. Mind you, I think the commander, if they dropped behind the factory, would have been able to just destroy the factory and at least... Well, I, no, never mind. They have to win. In that position, Flipstep has to win. And Kshatri even pointed out, they were in fact expecting that, and they should have. But yeah, that's the thing. If Flipstep didn't outright win, even killing the factory is enough. They would have had to kill the Zeus, probably in the order of Zeus, Warrior, Commander, Factory. If they had done that and succeeded, then they would have won. But they didn't, and therefore they lost. Well, they're trying desperately to get back in. Oh, damn it. Why didn't they say this is actually a cheese game? I kind of wish I'd known about that, because I just picked a game that had a decent length. Actually, kind of at random. Oh, well, cheese happens. Anyway. That was that. A little bit odd. But we're moving on to a game between Flipstep and Aquanim, which is longer. So that should be a bit more satisfying. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment. <laughs> 